from Chinesha.com, this is Mac Josie again, and today we'll be talking about music. Okay, <laughs> as you can see, this is a mega size, mega size uh, Dexy. It's huge. <laughs> it's a concert grade um, <clears throat> Dexy, and this one here is a, a bass G. Okay, you can see a G right here. Okay, so um, a lot of people saw my uh, other performance with this thingy here and was like wow it sounds really ass kicking I mean awesome so <coughs> they're like um, where do you get it um, okay so I would have to say that okay uh, this deck D I don't know how you can buy it online because I don't see that on Amazon uh, eBay and stuff like that much usually they buy they sell the autos but in some music shop like the red music shop they do sell um, base bass G, bass B flat and stuff like that but I have not seen anyone buying any of those from them so I don't know how their quality is like this one here is handpicked by my student uh, Ting Ji from Hong Kong and she actually uh, went to the store and picked it for me so it's really nice one piece construction no attachment and it makes the thing so damn sturdy okay so um, beside the thing looks very long What's so good about it is one thing I realized is the finish on the deck G is different from the cheaper class deck G. I put this membrane on the deck G on day one I received the deck G, okay? This is the first membrane, which is done like a long, long time ago, okay, last year. <laughs> and it's still working. <laughs> it's not coming off. <laughs> so the finish on the good grade, like the professional grade deck G is really different. Somehow, I don't know what they put there, but when you glue a proper um, deck membrane over it, it, it's really like you can keep it there for a long time and you don't need to change it. Whereas for a cheaper class, like not really cheap, but um, you know, lower class than this one, the double uh, section one, <clears throat> this thing, the deck mold, no matter how you glue it, it will come off after a while. Like you will have to redo the deck mold. And this one, it just stays on. All you need to do is go and then you go like that with your fingers and stretch it a bit and it will come back out again and um, it will work again. So really cool. I just tested it before I make this video and it's working so I was like, wow, I don't need to put a new deck mold on this thing. It's really cool. <coughs> Usually, uh, deck G, um, most of the other deck G have six holes, finger holes right here. This one, you have seven. It's like the seal, kind of like a seal kind of fingering. Uh, seven hole, okay? So basically, usually when you have the six hole, it's very, very logical, like da 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 like that, okay? And then you start over again. This one, it's like da 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 like you have this here so it's kind of like when you first play it and you try to go one two three four it's kind of weird like that you got a little bit of double there You see the, you see that, okay, da, 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 kind of awkward and you need to get used to it, but it is very fun. Um, so that's basically uh, something you want to know about playing one of these uh, bass key, okay, the low, low tone deck key. Okay, so now let me just play a footage and let everyone enjoy some music. That's what it is about and basically just want to tell you about stuff that you may not know about why these things are more expensive. Not just that they are longer but actually the, uh, the actual finish on the thing makes your deck last longer there. And also um, one piece construction is always really the best way to go uh, for the best sound. So here we go. Let's enjoy the music.
Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.